So this next menu is a bit of a surprise for me. I think people wouldn't expect it, being that I am a chef. This is just looks so delicious, and I just want to mm. So this one is going to be... We are getting ready for the festive season. So let's get together and make some incredible food. So today we are going to be making three different menus at three different price points. We're gonna have three beautiful judges come in to taste them and judge them and rate them out of 10 to pick an ultimate winner. I'm looking for something that looks good, tastes good and isn't going to make me broke. If I'm hosting, I want a ball on a budget, right? So, you know, I don't waste all my money on other people eating. You know, I'd rather spend it on myself. So, you know, anywhere I can cut corners, I'm gonna do it. Easy, hands off, simple but delicious is my version of entertaining. So this is our first menu of the day and it is cheap and cheerful surf and turf barbecue style skewers. You know, an Aussie classic. This was amazing, extremely affordable, and from my local shop as well. You start off with a cube of marinated beef, any type of marinade you like, and then we have some capsicum, prawn, and then you top it off with your final piece of capsicum. We'll place a few on the grill. And I wanna brush it with some garlic herby butter. Okay, so you can see that our beautiful skewers are nice and charry. Don't be afraid of the burnt bits. I'm going to put these on our beautiful platter. So now we are going to be making a creamy, beautiful herby potato salad onto some boiled potatoes. I have a mix of dill, parsley, chives, capers, and some Dijon mustard. Some mayonnaise, because who doesn't love mayonnaise with their potato salad? And do not be shy, be generous. Now you toss this, and you can do this in advance as well and pop it in your fridge. And there is your potato salad. So now we're going to be bringing in our judges for the first time. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Meat wow. on a stick. Delicious. And veggies. Food one hand, drink the other, you know. Easy. Presentation's beautiful, beautiful, but it's simple. Like, we're not going over the top here. Like, we could do this. Plate one. I'm gonna be fancy and go fork situation, so. Dig in. Mmm. Meat cooked to perfection. Classic summer vibes. I am so here for it. Yum. Capsicum's nice and crunchy. I can taste the layers to the flavors. Like there's a lot going on here. I can tell how long this took to prep and cook. These potatoes look like they are covered in mayo, which is just like a dream come true, really. It's so fresh with the dill. Carrots are good. I'm not sure how they were done like this. Very jealous of being able to do that. You put honey on anything and it's like fancy. Yeah, tell me how much this cost. $90, so just over $10 a head. Oh wow, cheap, cheap and cheerful. So this is all you get. This is it. No, I'd want about like four more skewers. You know, I'm impressed. I think it shows you either pay with time or pay with money. And I think, you know, they've made up the presentation has taken will be a cheap dish and elevated it. Looks good. So the score I'm gonna give this for its overall presentation, prize and taste is an eight. It's yum. Overall, solid but not spectacular, so I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. The only complaint I have for this meal is how long it would take to make, so for that, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. All right, we are ready for menu number two, and okay, I gotta be honest here, I'm a chef by trade, so I get tired like the best of us. So I thought today I'd get some catering in, be a bit cheeky, do a little bit of a missed out fire, and plate it up. So the ultimate crowd pleaser for this menu is none other than Red Rooster. Now listen, this is all aboard the chicken train. The way I'm gonna plate this up is super simple, it's casual, the shareability, just like that grab and go that we love. All right, so now we are going to be plating up our beautiful, iconic roast chicken. I have a nice wooden board here just for a bit of a modern vibe. So, ooh, oh my God. The actual centerpiece of this beautiful menu, the roast chicken, our hero dish. Can you imagine? How long did that take? Seconds. We need some more roast chicken pieces because they cut it up for you. There's also a stuffing situation in here that I did not know. Oh, no one's gonna be complaining with this guy because we just have a little bit of everything. It's a choose your own adventure. We're gonna move on to some more chicken and grab another trusty board. I'm just going to pick up our beautiful pieces of fried chicken, some drumsticks, we've got some thighs in there. Like honestly, something for everyone. So I was thinking about doing a little grazing board situation with a few little hacks. Taking a little paper, Pop it in the bowl, take our chicken pops, and in they go. Moving along, we are going to plate up some slaw wings, just placing them down. You want that ultimate 
grabability. You can see that it just takes the hassle out of everything. Like look at all these little bite-sized wonders. Grab our tenders and open it up. That's all we're doing. Just do the same with the chips. Just keep it super simple, super easy, and ready to dig in. So now moving on, we're going to plate up our sides. It's no fuss and ready for everyone to tuck in. So now I've beautifully arranged this spread. You know, it's perfect for all my friends. And speaking of friends, we're gonna bring in our gorgeous judges. Come on in, judges. Come on. I know, this is all for you. Hang on a minute. Oh my God, it's Red Rooster. I spent all of like 10 minutes doing this, guys. Oh my God, hacks. Three kinds of potato. Incredible, three. incredible. I think you need to leave us alone with enjoy, the chicken. Yes, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. I would absolutely do this for my mates and they would be very impressed. Yeah, I think I'd become the most popular friend if I did this. Yeah. Oh my God, a full plate of fun. It looks even better than the kitchen because now I know that this plate is just for me. If I was served this at a party, I'd be the happiest. So often you get served like little dainty finger food. There's about 97 different kinds of chicken. Now that I think about it, it's such a stress saver. So this one is $113 and it will feed eight plus people. Oh my God, yes. <sighs> what a bloody bargain. The fact that I could serve eight people this for like $113 is crazy. This is such a good option if you're trying to save some money. Cheeky but smart. Like who wants to be cooking all day? I am gonna eat this roast and it's gonna be amazing. Obviously gravy, which I'm insanely excited about. Mmm. Mmm. That's good chicken. How is it so moist? Succulent and juicy, isn't it? Normally I would be smothering this with sauce, but I don't even need to. That gravy is so nice and warm and comforting. The roast chicken is far better than my mom's. Um, sorry, mom. Look at that! Mm. Oh my god, so hearty. The cruncher! Yum! I don't know how it's so crunchy, but also it's still super tender and moist on the inside. And that's the first time I've ever had red rooster fried chicken and I'm here for it. This tender's been calling my name for a while, so I'm gonna have a crack, but I'm gonna try the hot sauce instead of the, uh, the gravy. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Perfect. I just wanna try these chicken pops because yum. Which sauce should I go for? Chipotle. Mmm. I can see myself grazing on this all day. Wings. Mmm. Mm. Really good though, I could not make one that's as crispy as that. Not number one fan of wings. Crispy potato. A little herby mayo situation. Maybe don't put the whole spot in your mouth in one go. Coleslaw, yum. Mm. It's coleslaw. Compared to the first meal, this one definitely has more variety. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Ismat's presentation was fantastic. It looked great. It made me realize that, you know, Cooking and preparing foods for dummies, so you know, buy it, make it look great, take the credit, enjoy. I've got to give this one a 9 out of 10, honestly. So because this gives you more options than the first, it's probably going to be more of a crowd pleaser. And it has chippies. I'm going to rate this a 9. We have made it to the lucky last menu for today. It is the most opulent, bougie, luxurious Australian seafood platter, but elevated. We're going to be doing three tiers of beautiful seafood amazement. What else could you ask for? I got up at the crack of dawn. I handpicked all this gorgeous seafood. This was a big one, but it's a gift to your friends and family. You know, you've worked hard all year. Sit down, enjoy these three tiers. That's what this menu's about. So here are some Pacific oysters that are extremely meaty and they're going to be accompanied with some beautiful beetroot vinaigrette that I reduced. And on top of that is going to go some beautiful diced white peach, just some lime segments because lime is a good time. We're gonna go on to some beautiful bellinis, which I topped with some lumpfish caviar. And that's gonna go with a little bit of chives. And then we have some gorgeous salmon roe that's going to be topped with some dill, because dill and salmon match made in heaven. But this is my completed top layer that we are going to adorn in this stand right now. I mean, come on. Alrighty, we are ready for our second tier. This is just a beautiful prawn roll that has some apples, celery, mayo, tarragon. For the prawn rolls, there's a little bit of a trick to make it look like it's just like 
bursting with prawns. I like to empty out a little bit of the brioche bun and get our little lettuce baby on the side before you fill her up. This makes it look like you have tucked him in to sleep and he is filled. Just look at how beautiful, it gives it some wonderful height as well. And that for me is just like a winner. Onto the scallops, I just put some garlic herb butter on top and I'm just going to garnish with a little bit more paprika, which we did cook them with, but I love a little extra hit. Now I also like to just dress this with a few little leaves here and there, just to give it nice little extra height. You want your guests to be able to see your scallops. So it's nice to have them propped up on something. And that is our second tier. Alrighty, we have our beautiful final layer, stunning garlic herby lobsters. So all I did was just generously brush it with some garlic herb butter and bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And there you go. Look at these juicy, juicy lobsters. And that is your final standout layer for this big mama jamma. All right, we have our beautiful spread in front of us, guys, and we are going to just put the pièce de la résistance on top, which is gold leaf. I mean, come on now. What is more celebratory than a little bit of gold leaf on some caviar? So elegant. And that is the ultimate seafood bougie spread. I mean, look at this. I'm actually impressed myself, guys. <laughs> Yeah. This is beautiful and it is your seafood dreams on a platter. Okay guys, please, please come on in. We've got a beautiful spread. For us? Yes. Yeah. You made this for <laughs> us? Wow. Oh, Far out. My, the gold? Oh, oh my god, this is a feast of colour. Much fancier than my family. It feels like Christmas is here early. It's like celebration personified yeah. in food. What have I done to deserve this? Fancy pants. I find it pretty threatening. This is $500. $500. Jeez Louise. Like, are people going to appreciate that you spent $500 on them? I don't know. I can't imagine there being eight people I'd want to spend 500 bucks on. What am I going to try first? I'll go for oysters. I love oysters. Oysters? We've never gotten along. Ah, yuck. <laughs> mm. Wow. That was kind of sweet, that beetroot. I'm so here for it. <laughs> oh, I tried so hard just then. Oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna pass on the oyster, I reckon. I'm gonna save that for someone that'll appreciate it a little bit more than me. I have tears in my eyes. The shit I do for this company, I swear. So apparently this butter is like a bougie butter. <laughs> that butter and bread is good. That almost tastes like cheese just comes out. It's just a fork full of lobster. Rich boy Josh coming up. Juicy. Yum! Yum! I'm not getting the hype, honestly. I think if lobsters were five bucks, no one would eat it. All of that, all the effort, all the cost, all the everything, getting it boiled alive just for that. Yeah, not, not for me, that. Now I'm gonna try this bougie caviar situation. Who eats caviar? We'll do it. Whoa. That's nothing like I've ever tried before. It's so weird. It wasn't bad. It pops in your mouth. That tastes salty like the ocean, but then creamy. I'm glad I've done it now. Big life moment ticked off. So now let's get into the scallops. These are so good. Like, mm, melt in your mouth. That's a good scallop. Yeah, yummy. And then what is this? A prawn roll, yum. Prawn and bread, bring it on. Mm. Amazing. Not bad, you know, nice prawn, nice bread. Not as good as the first bread. Overall, the aesthetics are so lovely. The taste is just bougie, brilliant. The price, I just don't see myself affording this, so I don't think I can give it full marks. So for that, I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. This is delicious, parts of it. So it's better than the barbecue one. Maybe I obviously didn't like it as much as the Red Rooster one, so it's gonna be like an 8.5. Not a massive seafood guy, so unsurprisingly, it wasn't my favorite dish of the day. But I tried, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna get roasted in the comments, but I gave it a red hot go. I'm gonna give it a out of 10. Oh 
My God. Okay, well, guys, that's it. My job is done. I'm going to leave the kitchen now. <laughs> no, that's amazing. It's honestly super versatile and really easy if you're just too stressed out during the festive time. I'm not too mad about it. I mean, maybe a little salty, but like not super salty. If you want to see us do different menus at different price points, comment down below and like and subscribe.